What is happening, y'all? Cowboy here, and welcome to part one of our next series. Can't wait for this. It's been a while since a demo has drawn me immediately into a game as hard as it has happened with Stellar Blade. Because we played the demo of this, I went into this, you know, didn't really have much in terms of expectations. It was like, ah, oh, it'll be fun. Uh, demo absolutely blew me away. Very much uh, big, big Sekiro vibes in terms of the combat and the timing. Done large subtitles. Graphics mode is unbalanced. Perfect. And here we are. So big thanks to PlayStation and uh, Shift Up for the game. And let's jump straight in. Uh, so we are going to be playing on English if I end up doing a walkthrough as well. The walkthrough I'm going to do in Korean. But final the playthrough will just be now, easier to uh, listen in combat. Their objective is the capture or dispatchment of the Elder Nation. Pods entering atmosphere. One minute until threshold is free. Yes, the start of the game is the same as the demo, because I already had a chance to play it. I'm not carrying over my demo progress. Play things very differently in a Let's Play versus a stream.
see you still have your combat sensors. Great. Coordinates? The rendezvous point is at 2 o'clock. 400 meters in front of us. seems like a good point to call it out. Uh, in terms of the gore for this game, there are going to be a couple scenes that I'm going to have to uh, censor, just based on, on my experience with the demo. There's uh, any, any like, focused dismemberment just gets flagged. It automatically puts the video on an 18 plus only limited, uh, limited rating, which basically just means it would be dead in the water. So, for example, the the opening fight that we'd already got to experience with Taki, Let's go. where she gets dismembered. I'm just gonna put a little blur filter over that. Are you right, you? Which should make it safe for you too. But yeah, same thing as like you know Mortal Kombat executions. Anything that's a Thank you. a big focus on dismemberment of a person ends up getting fried by the algorithm. There's more of them. So my initial plan, at least, I'm gonna just upload stuff and then. If episodes get flagged, I'll go back and I'll edit them and I'll you know, do whatever I have to do. Let's get out of here before more of them show up. I actually created a like instant button blur filter which i might just use that just because that would be the the easiest solution so we'll see i don't really like the idea of blurring everything that's on screen but it might be easier than going back and editing and trying to map a blur over specific parts but i don't know we'll figure it out i'll probably just do the editing and then uh that blur i can use for stream because i think i'm gonna Probably, I don't know if I'm going to do a walkthrough yet, it's too early to tell, but I do have plans to go back and try to play through it in hard mode, but that'll be on stream. Maybe some good, good guides, we'll see. Let's go. Is that an Alpha Nativa? Let's join them. together. Taki? Listen to me. We haven't completed our mission. Now it's just up to us to see this mission through. Understand?
saying, it'd be cool if it lets you like play through his Taki in New Game Plus. It wasn't an alpha, but it was a strong one. You fought well, even better than during training. You were all together, but then. <laughs> the damage to your body frame is serious. We have to find the supply camp. Wait, Eve. I hear something. Eve! Eve, are you all right? See like the bone sticking out and the blood gushing. Eve, get out of here. We're gonna we're gonna hope this play filter is good enough. Which I hate to do it, but like I mean, dude, limited videos. It's it's crazy. Like the first time I streamed this, watching like views and whatnot climb on the vod, it was like a you know a seventy degree angle. Video gets hit with the limited rating, that stuff drops down to like a 10% angle. So, unfortunately, getting hit with limited is, it's just a death sentence for videos. They, they stop showing up on feeds, they stop going out to subscribers. You can only find it if you're logged in. But I'm pretty sure that's the only part, from the demo at least, that was cause for flagging. So we should be good with that, with that quick blur. It's quiet. Still, make sure to stay cautious. It's where the Alpha and AT is. Get ready. I'll be supporting with the drone. So this must be Ador 7. Yes. This was the final battlefield of civilization. It was also known as a truly colossal city. Something is falling from the sky. A strange sensation. This must be Earth's rain. We can admire the scenery later. We have a job to do here. Let me go. Right, so we only have planet diving suit for now. Encore. Where's the. Uh... I have the short ponytail on already. It looked like it was long. So that's short. I wonder what a long ponytail looks like. I thought it was uh, even shorter. Oh wow, long is like really long. I don't know. I feel like I like short better. 
know they did spend a lot of time making sure that like it doesn't clip into outfits and stuff. It's at 100. Just thinking about cranking the music up even more. That's, I mean, even though we've only played the demo so far, I can already tell, like, I think the music for this game is going to be just top-notch. They got a... They have some in-house composition, and then they hired a group that's led by the lead composer behind Nier to do a lot of the music. Falling debris. Be careful. Something. Coming. The crustaceans have enemy. They're common. All right. Area is clear. Was the lake over here? I remember there was like a lake I was exploring in the demo. It's got to be further up. You gotta hit the hit the button to like if you find it, it should just be there. You know, it's silly to hit the button, it but works. whatever. Here we go. This is the lake. Buildings are collapsing. It's because of the city's unstable terrain. You'll get used to it soon. Sure to hold on to it if you come across one. Just the music like mutes itself when you're underwater. There's a legion camp in a place like this. It's the uh, the map scan. Was it right stick? Let me see. What will I got when attacking? Did it have something over there? I thought I grabbed everything that was over there. Oh no, there's money I didn't get. Shit. Let's run back. I'm getting everything. I wonder how I didn't vacuum that when I was over here a second ago. 
we need to get like a there's probably a module I can get that'll just increase the the pickup distance on stuff. That's one of the main reasons I'm not sure if this will need a walkthrough, because the fact we can scan the map like that for any potential misloot, that's you know, that's huge. I think um I think the get good guides make a lot more sense. You know, a series of small guides that are focused entirely on boss fights. so far. Tumblr expansion module, potion, and then advanced. Um, I could spend on lingering. I don't have enough gold for any of this stuff anyway. First thing I want to do I don't have perfect dodge yet. Obviously we want that. And then I want the... Right, we're going to save. I want that. The easier perfect parry is huge. I don't think I can use the tumbler expansion until we get to the big camp. One thing I really like is like when you jump back into combat, the music just picks up the beat exactly where you were. Like it doesn't just restart the song, it just resumes it. I'm gonna get it ugly. Cool. Yeah, I'm with the absolute. I think those red markers mean death. Abe, be careful. You see the rapids below. If you fall, it's over. There's another supply box over here. Did someone forget to retrieve this? Sure, there are more supply boxes. It'll help us survive. So, look carefully.
Oh man. It's funny I can parry the boss a million times, but I struggle against the basic enemies. Upgraded parry. I'm so used to the the timing on that from all the time I spent fighting the uh, the boss in the demo that I can I'm hitting with that timing, not the tighter parry timing. Gear is equipment that can improve combat. You can equip it in gear sockets. Cool. Equipment tab by pressing the options, collect Omni bolts to unlock more slots. Alright, so do we have our first? Not sure exactly what qualifies as a combo level 2 though. This looks like a... yeah, death ledge, okay. in a similar state. By comparison, this city is looking pretty good. After the colony extinction, most places were oh. nothing but dust. It's a high energy compression battery. Thanks to that, Earth's night isn't dark yet. Oh, it's the previous generation of the Infinity Cell. Be sure to keep that. It's very valuable. Once I get my like parry follow up and everything. Never could figure out how to open. The memory sticks fried. That we open later. Damn. It's a trap.
Oh god. Walk next to those. There we go. Oh, God. oh bro, no, I'm gonna die. Is there any more explosive stuff over here? Wait a minute. Hang on, I can go, uh... We're back in this, baby. way to handle that situation. This way. There are traces of markers left behind by the Legion. get a rest spot before I I have enough energy though I don't remember what was over here one of those big guys that pops out okay might be able to do this Maybe I've missed one of these bodies and it has the code I need. It's enough for the upgrade of Perry. Oh my god. Some continuous heals left and that is it. So in terms of, of uh, the series in general, we're going to be... Keeping things pretty normal around like the 30 minute mark, but for the uh, first episode, I'm gonna get through the majority of uh, majority of the content that was in the demo, just because it's like you know we've done this. I just want to cover it. Can I go down there? No, I don't think so. Yeah, I know, I saw the little red things all over, so no going down there. <laughs> 807, Silent Street Pharmacy. Hold on. Stick still has the security code registered. It also has record of a message log. Scan complete. Do I have a map? I think that's the code I need, but we get a shortcut in a little bit. So we'll, we'll go get the shortcut first. And we get a rest spot too, coming up. You have to cross here. Do you see the ladder behind me? I can't reach the ladder. The water level is too low. Try using the plank.
Uh, for those that, you know, don't know anything about this game and they're debating whether or not to get it, um, there's been a lot of talk about it being a Souls-like. Personally, I wouldn't consider it one. I wanted to put that out there for people that, you know, you tend to avoid Souls games because you think they're too hard. Like, the combat here is hard, but you're, you know, you don't drop any resource on death. If you, like, get an enemy half-dead when you respawn, he's still half-dead. So there's a lot of things in this game that are that make it uh, a lot more usable. You know, combat's still hard, obviously, but the, the typical... You know, I think the a lot of the things that people are used to in Souls Likes, in particular the fact that you drop everything on death, that's not a case here. You still do get, like, you know, when we, when we rest, we're going to get our heals back, but you don't drop anything, and enemy's health remains at whatever it was when you, you died. Not bosses, of course, but like regular enemies if you're fighting like, you know, that that uh, that big wheel thing. If I had died and that big wheel thing was like half dead, it would be half dead when I respawn. Combat, though, very, uh, very reminiscent of... Uh, I guess you could kind of describe it as like a fusion between like Bayonetta and, and Sekiro. Because you have like the perfectly timed parries, the perfectly timed dodges. But you also have the ability to like go into various weapon combos and whatnot. Like something you would expect in uh, Bayonetta or Devil May Cry. And as long as you're pumping enough damage into enemies to get that stagger, you can actually utilize the combos. I'm vibing with it a lot. Pretty fun combat, I think. What? Is it? There we go. It's another ledge to climb. to go through this building. Try putting the fusion cell you have here. Where was that chest? There it is. Yeah, now we're fairy god. Huge difference getting the parry upgrade. Let's see, renew the code. Nope, different code, damn. Says booby. those upgrades.
Crickle Boom. This is the one. Beta, zero, alpha, uh, okay. <sighs> See if it happened to Mother Sphere, lost track of time. I'm still not entirely clear what Eve is. I don't know if we're like an android or like a human in a suit that's like, you know, like a cyborg. Aside from playing the demo, I haven't really like looked into anything for this game, which I really do I prefer to go in. You know, the more the more blind I am going into a game, the better way I can and everything in real time and experience it. already? It's a map. A map? How do you synchronize the location on the map? <sighs> what a zoomer. What's funny is I'm getting old enough to where like kids are seeing that like you know the idea the idea of a floppy disk they're like oh who 3d printed this big save icon and it's like oh my god I'm so old. <laughs> Why is that the case? <laughs> oh, looks like this used to be a library. Are these boxes displayed on the wall storage devices? Sort of. They can only store up to one megabyte of data. What a waste of resources. I think we are all clear. Man, what's that? What's that? What was that? Piece of loot. Was it in here? There we go. Some nano element. Past the parking tower.
No! Ah, oh, shit. Try to time the dodge, that did not work. It's like, I played through this portion of the demo just once, and then just continually fought the, uh, like, demo boss over and over and over again. Keep hitting buttons that I don't have yet, like the, the spot dodges, going in reverse, going forward, all that stuff. I guess this is the other way, yeah. like this supply camp what's that it's a depot set up by the airborne squad who came here before huh. looks like it's been abandoned for a long time how come they set up a camp in a corner like this well the supply camp also serves as an important base is this parking lot important it could also mean that this place is very dangerous Then I guess this place could be useful for us. Increase chum tumbler, upgrade your exospines and combat. So you can upgrade your drone, craft nano suits, and fast travel to other camps. Okay, so you were oh, I gotta enable it first. We're gonna do the camp stuff, and then that's probably where we'll wrap up episode one. That way we can Tackle the boss in the next part and then continue on to new stuff. Weapon core. Might as well enhance our weapon. Solid increase. So we want. There has to be other playables. Because we have like an L1R1 for Eve. Which means there's going to be other people we're deciding upgrades for. Uh, 2000. Those grenades are good. Let me look at some other stuff though. One skill point. Forgot this is when we go through the training module. that I liked a lot. Was it do 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 do? I thought it was triangle triangle square square triangle. Which one was it? No, it's not that one. Oh, triangle square, hold square triangle. That's the one I was thinking of. Okay, so song rest, fast travel. What about making the new, the new suits? Can that be something under skill settings? I don't think so. Those are still locked. Yeah, next thing I'd want to get is repulse. And then, um... Actually, parry follow-up might... No, no. I don't know. I'll need repulse for sure. But I don't know when.
Enhance weapons, increase timber count, upgrade exospines. I thought it also, I swear it said we could change our outfits here too, but I guess we can't craft them, maybe not. I didn't see any in the shop at least. Um, let's, let's get two of those. Might as well have three of those. Oh, shock grenades? Shock grenades are wild. I'm definitely getting one of those. It's like an instant, instant stagger. It just knocks them on their ass. It's super good. Oh, let's rest. And this is a fantastic spot to wrap up here for now. Well, we'll let this dialogue play out first. Thank you for saving me. It's nothing, really. Though I have used up almost all of the exospine materials that I collected over the years. Oh. It's all right. That now means we can help each other. We can track down the Alpha Nativa together. And, well, I'd have trouble making it out here by myself anyway. If you can locate the Hall of Records, you'll have done more than enough. Listen, don't worry. I promise, I'll make sure to repay you. Let's respawn, items are restored, and I am good. So we'll wrap up here. Next episode, we'll take down the boss and see where we go. So I'll catch you all then.